In this uh, tutorial, we will look at the role of enzymes in the digestion of carbohydrates. Now, there are two key enzymes that play an important role. First, the salivary alpha amylase that is present in the saliva and the pancreatic alpha amylase that is present in the pancreatic juice from the pancreas. Both these enzymes are secreted in their active forms. The uh, salivary alpha amylase is uh, deactivated at the acid pH. So as you know that in the stomach, the pH is low and there are acidic conditions. So in the stomach, the salivary alpha amylase can remain active for some time depending on its location in the bolus and how that bolus uh, disintegrates in the stomach. So if it is present in the interior parts of the bolus, the salivary alpha amylase uh, can remain active for some time. But once that bolus falls apart uh, and mixes with the gastric juices, which are acidic with low pH, the salivary alpha amylase is then deactivated. The pancreatic alpha amylase enters the duodenum via the sphincter of OD. The bicarbonate present in the pancreatic juice neutralizes the acidic conditions of the digesta after it leaves the pyloric valve and moves into the duodenum. The pancreatic alpha amylase rapidly digests amylose, but it has little effect on amylopectin. Recall that amylopectin is the one that has branched chain of glucose molecules. The pancreatic alpha amylase breaks down amylose into maltose, trisaccharides, and dextrins that require additional digestion later in the GI tract. Remember that ultimately the carbohydrate has to break down to the monosaccharide. Both the salivary and pancreatic alpha amylases are called endosaccharidases. Their specific action is limited to the internal alpha 1,4 glycosidic bonds. They have no effect on the alpha 1,6 glycosidic bonds that are present in the amylopectin uh, molecule, as we saw earlier. They also have no effect on the alpha-1,4 glycosidic bonds at the end of the chain. So the action of these salivary and pancreatic alpha amylases is only in the internal alpha-1,4 glycosidic bonds as shown here with these arrows. So in summary, while the salivary and pancreatic alpha amylases play an important role in starch hydrolysis, still the hydrolysis products such as the uh, disaccharides must be further broken down by disaccharidases as we will see later on uh, in another tutorial.